I just understand need to understand sheet because sheet was not what I thought it should be. But that's maybe because I don't I'm not as close to the industry, obviously, as you are. Yeah, look, you know, what I tell you is, you know, she gets a lot of attention for good reason. You know, Jim, we made $6.8 billion of net earnings last year. A majority of that was attributable to our sheet group. They set a record at over 11 million tons shipped last year and over $6 billion of EBITDA from that group alone. So their performance has been incredible, and that's going to continue. Now, we're seeing some softening, and our weighting is a little more hot band centric than some of our competitors. But also keep in mind that in 2021, in a year where some of our competitors were flat or actually went down in sheet shipments, Nucor increased by 10 percent. So our move and our move up, particularly in automotive, our share grew in a declining market. So those things are going to continue because we do offer things like Iconic, that is a net zero steel. Our first coil of that went to General Motors a few weeks ago. And again, you're going to see that move as we move into West Virginia and announce that, that new state-of-the-art sheet mill there. Uh, Nucor's value proposition to provide uh, differentiated capabilities for our customers is unlike any of our competitors. Well, tell me more about that, because, you know, when I see people looking for seven dollars for next year or 17 this year, I think they must think that all steels created equal. One of the reasons I always like Nucor is because it really is not equal to the other company's steel. You are doing different things with technology that make it your steels proprietary. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, we announced in October of last year, Iconic, which is a family of net zero steels, um, again, the first of which shipped. But we are the first company to be able to produce net zero steels at scale, Jim. That demand isn't just in the OEM automotive sector. That is a growing segment. You and I have talked about many times the, the move in ESG to provi provide a sustainable platform for the long term. When you're talking to the cleanest steel maker on the planet, um, enables Nucor to, again, provide that differentiated value proposition. Think about our um, Hickman startup in our galvanizing line in Hickman, Arkansas. It's the first EAF in the world to be able to produce a full Generation 3 automotive steel. So we are doing things, Jim, that uh, our competition just can't do today. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.